El Tour is an intimate winning coast to look at a six size great adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Today I will be reviewing El Tour and telling you my opinions of why I love this coaster so much, but I will also be talking about how this ride is a teeny bit overrated. El Toro is an absolute beast. It is an amazing winning coaster that provides some great airtime. The restraints, you really can't feel them. I mean, you could feel the restraints. That's the only problem. And you usually do get stapled sometimes when you go over the hills, even if you don't try to pull them down all the way. This ride is still very good winning coasters and provides a great airtime. The lift hill is very fast since it uses a cable lift hill. That drop is awesome, and it feels like you're going to fly off your seat down that drop. You then go over a couple airtime hills, and then you go through that sharp turn. Go through more airtime hills, then go over another airtime hill, and then go through all those sharp turns around the end of the coaster. El Toro provides a very intense ride, and it's a very intense coaster. Probably one of the most intense roller coasters ever built in the entire world. It's a great coaster, and it's just an amazing coaster. It's a good ride, but then I want to say that this ride is kind of a teeny bit overrated. I feel like people overrate this ride sometimes and say it is a very smooth roller coaster. This ride is not very smooth. The ending of this ride is, I'd say, extremely rough, actually. When you're going through all those turns, you're getting bashed around, and it's just not comfortable. And sometimes if you sit on the side of the well, there's those metal bars on the side, and those can be very uncomfortable sometimes. And that really takes away from the ride a little bit. I still do have El Toro, but I just feel like if they retract this thing and maybe give it new trains, then the ride would be so much better. It's still a good ride. I do love El Toro. It's an amazing winning coaster, and I'm not going to complain about it at all. It's a good coaster. I'm just going to complain about the restraints. I feel like they're kind of heavy and hard. Um, I don't like how you have seatbelts, kind of. I wish they didn't. And it should just be a lap bar, kind of like Nitro. This ride is still amazing anyways, though. Um, it's a fun coaster. It's an overrated, I would say that. Uh, I th do think people do overrate this ride sometimes. I mean, it's not a bad winning coaster at all. It's a fun and probably the one of the most intense winning works it's ever built in the world. Um, it probably provides my, I don't know, airtime, maybe fourth favorite airtime moments on any coaster or fifth. I'm not sure. Um, Steel Force provides number one and Twisted Timbers provides number two with Fury being number three. I don't know what's after that. Um, I do prefer King to Kyle over El Toro. Um, I also like Fury 3 to 5 better than El Toro, and I'm probably going to like Intimidator 3 to 5 better than El Toro. I'm going to be riding Wig Cyclone again this year. That will probably beat out El Toro as well. Um, I think Twisted Timbers, if it really impresses me, I'm going to raise that up on the list. So, yeah. However, right now, I do love El Toro. It is my third favorite coaster I've ever ridden, and it's just a good ride. And I just think it's an absolutely amazing winning coaster. Right now, I will be showing you guys some footage of El Tor. This footage was taken in 2018, and it will show how much airtime. It will show the airtime hills on this ride, and yeah, enjoy the footage. As you can see, El Tor is an amazing winning coaster, and that is why I'm giving El Tor a 10 out of 10. I'm just giving Tor barely got a 10 out of 10, actually, um, but I love Tor anyways. It's such a great... I, the only reason I probably would have given it a 9 out of 5 is for the ending, due to how rough I think it is. But El Tor is still an absolutely amazing coaster. I love El Tor. It is my third favorite coaster right now. As I said, it might move down a little bit after this year. But still, El Tor is an absolutely amazing ride. I do think it is a little bit overrated. But I do think El Tor is an absolutely amazing winning coaster. And it's just such a good ride. And it's just a fun winning coaster. Um, I do think it needs a retract by GCI. And I do think if they retract this ride and maybe give it new trains, this ride would be so much better. But it is a good roadster right now. And I do love El Toro, but I feel like it should get a retracking soon. So yeah, it's a good coast. It's a great coaster. I love El Toro. It's just an awesome map. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more coaster reviews. I'm going to keep my coaster reviews a surprise for now. So you guys do not know what the coaster review is for next year. I'm going to do one coaster review every week now. Um, since my channel just began, I wanted to do two coaster reviews a week. So yeah, I'm also going to be starting park reviews next week. I'm very excited to do that, and it's just going to be good. So stay tuned for that. Um, I have some other videos coming this upcoming week and in the and I'm just it's gonna be good um also happy Easter um I hope you're having a good Easter so far and yeah keep coasting on my coaster demons peace